Hello everyone, this is Alex from Tech Media Guys, and in today's video I am going to be showing off some, um, well it's a 3D model scene that I did in um, Autodesk Maya. Um, I did it, I learned Maya at college, I already had some prior knowledge to modelling, um, and yeah, so I made this at home, um, and obviously I'll have my screenshot on screen, the final render. Um, that's what I wanted to go into depth of the actual scene itself because um, like I've got um, like models here you can I'm just going to show you these first um, cans of drinks um, you know basic stuff like that fruit bowl fruit in apples with um, things like hot chop one chopped in half and stuff and uh, the mug there I did that at college um, the plates here, yeah, I had two different plates, see which one looks better. Um, I think this one right here looks better of myself. Um, a dish as well. Um, stools, this is my test area. Um, but yeah, with my models, um, I want to pick up Fallout 4 for PC um, because I want to make some uh, some basic mods like settlement items and stuff. Because I've got a bit of code, uh, programming knowledge, coding knowledge from college as well. I learned a lot of stuff. Um, at college so I want to put my skills to test to see what I can do um, I just need to save, save a, bit, a bit more money to get a Fallout 4 because um, obviously you can get the mod tools for console as well so I can play them on my console um, <clears throat> but I also am waiting for the Call of Duty Black Ops 3 mod tools as well because I have um, I really think I'll be able to do some uh, good maps uh, creating custom maps from uh, working with other game engines and uh, stuff before like Unity and um, like Project Spark and just the game design in, in general I just want to mess around with them uh, not as like a full time thing but just to mess around see what I can do but um, yeah I just wanted to showcase my um, scene here of my uh, kitchen you can see you've got the lights here the, the red things are the studio lights and then this is the um, kitchen floor, the stools here, you can go quite in deep and uh, see the detail of the stuff. I really do think they're quite, they're quite nice as well. Um, the grapes here, these were my test things here. Um, per apple banana test, testing bananas, um, at the ends of the uh, banana stuff that was. That, all my final stuff is in this scene here, um, you know chopping board, some of the textures are a bit messed up because I'm, uh, I need to learn. I need to learn a bit more on texturing and UV mapping because we didn't actually have time to learn that in college due to then not having enough resources, which you know, it's the world we live in right now. Um, but yeah, I've got these cans here, all different. Um, it's all the same model. This is a bit uh, taller and thinner, as Red Bull usually is. Um, but here's my model. You can see there's a little bit of a lip where your can would be, um, and the same at the bottom as well move this up and you can see underneath yeah pretty nice I'm pretty, pretty proud of it uh, my fruit as well you can see inside orange banana apple per grapes grape stems and everything the cup um, when it's rendered that actually looks like water and stuff that's what that is the plates dishes um, you know all pretty nice stuff so yeah um, Gonna be doing some more videos on my 3D model scene because um, for my actual college project, one of the projects we did, we had to make a X-wing, and I think I did a really good job of my X-wing in my final scene. So I'm gonna go into depth uh, showcasing that. But yeah, um, this is basically saying that in the future, I'm gonna be doing some more tutorial, not necessarily tutorials unless people want that. Um, put just like 3D modeling or modding and stuff for games. Gonna be showcasing stuff like that. So yeah. Um, leave a comment if you want to ask me questions about it um, leave a like on the video and yeah so it's subscribe and you can check out my other videos and my models modeling stuff so yeah I'm gonna say thank you for watching and my name's been Alex and see you in the next one